Hey guys, and welcome back to Pokemon Red. In the last part, we came here to the rocket-controlled Sylph Company here in Saffron City. And off-screen, I went ahead and I cleared out every single solitary trainer that is available to me without opening any doors or anything like that. So, now that we've done that, and I have a map available here, uh, we're gonna get moving on actually finishing this place. Uh, let's see. Uh, which way do we need to go for this? Is it right down here? Oh yeah, okay, it's right down here. Uh, the first thing you need to do is come to this floor. I believe this is uh, the fourth floor, and did I fight that guy? I don't think I did. I'll fight him later, I guess. If I ever come back. <laughs> uh, you need to come to either the fourth or fifth floor and come back here. This is absolutely essential. You get the card key. Okay. Now with that card key, you can open up all these doors. So that is very, very valuable. Oh, uh, so let's fight him. Exploiting weak spots is not does work. Think about element types. Okay, I did fight him. Whatever. All right. So now that you have the card key, you can start opening up these doors and fighting all the other trainers and just opening up like shortcuts and stuff. So I'm gonna head back down. I'm gonna head down to the second floor because I want to um, clear this place very methodically. I want to make sure I know. I want to know exactly what I've done, in what order, and all that good stuff. So, okay. There are no doors here, apparently. If only I could move faster. Oh, Red, why are you so slow? Ugh. All right, well, here we go. All right, that's open, and this scientist is one that I have not fought yet, so we're gonna, f we're gonna fight him. Jeez. Ugh. All right. Did I fight this guy? I'm pretty sure I didn't. Help, I'm a self employee. Oh, you liar. You have lied, and therefore, you must be killed. You and your Pokemon. Oh, whatever. Anyway, uh, due to um, all the fighting I did off screen, everybody is around two or so levels higher, and uh, Sandman were in Psychic. So that's pretty awesome. Um, I got rid of Disable and not Confusion, because um, Psychic only has 10 PP, and I don't want to just have one Psychic attack that has just 10 PP. So, yeah. And Confusion really just gets the job done anyway, so I'll just save Confusion for, I mean, uh, save Psychic for when I, we really need it. So, yeah. Um, the guys in here, they mostly have um, basically just a smattering of poison types, um, some normal types, and the occasional fighting type, like a Machoke or a Machop. And that's really about it. These guys are pretty, pretty normal, pretty average. So, yeah, not much to worry about in here. So, yeah, this is not a hard place. It's just that it's so labyrinthian and just filled to the brim with so many items and trainers and floors and, oh, I hate it. Oh well. So yeah, now everybody is leveling up really quickly. How did you know I was a rocket? Uh, because you attacked me. <laughs> That's how. And because pretty much everybody in here is a rocket. But anyway, uh, let's see. Okay, nothing here. All right, third floor it is. And yeah, I'm not gonna be taking the teleporters just yet. Oh hey, what do you gotta say? Eek! No stop! Help! Oh, you're not with Team Rocket. I thought. I'm sorry, here, please take this. We got TM36. I don't know what that is. Let's see. Wait, how about talk to her? Oh, okay, self-destruct. Awesome. It's powerful, but the Pokemon that uses it faints. Be careful. Yeah, yeah. Let's see. Can I, do I have anybody that can learn that? I don't think I do, but it'd be awesome if I did. Let's see. Uh, no. Man, uh, Pokemon that are more inanimate in uh, nature, such as rock types or... Um, you know, Volt Orb, stuff like that. Pokemon like that are the ones that are usually able to actually use Self-Destruct. So, if you don't have something like that, there's a good chance that no one on your team will be able to use it. Anyway, um, really, once you have, once you've cleared out everything and you start taking a linear approach to uh, clearing the place out, it's not so bad. It's just... If you're doing it and you're impatient and you don't take the time to just find and get and use everything in a, in a, blah, 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 like a linear way, like I'm doing right now, 
then the place isn't so bad if you do it that way, but if you don't, then it's gonna take you forever. The thing is, you have to avoid the friggin' um, teleporters, because they'll throw you all over the place. And of course, there's no little prompt on the screen that tells you what floor you're on when you first get there. The only way you know exactly what floor you're on is if you, um, you know, you go into the elevator and then, you know, you select that floor. Other than that, like, if you take the stairs, it's not going to say floor 2 or floor 3, like, as soon as you get there. So it can be really tricky to actually figure out where you are. And if you go into the elevator and you just want to check what floor you're on, you can't. There's no, like, arrow pointing to what floor you're on or anything like that. There's no way to know. That's what's so frustrating about this place. It's just impossible to know where you really are, unless you have a map and you're staring at it the whole time. Ugh. <sighs> okay. Next. Now, um, one of the top floors, or one of the top floors, I think it's the tenth floor, is actually very, very important, because it holds, um, an invaluable TM, or a TM that is invaluable to me, at least. Which is pretty much the same thing as what I just said, but you know what, I don't freaking care. I'll say it again. Um, okay, yeah, still defib. Ugh, and man, I'm starving. The doors are electronically locked. A card key opens them. Oh, I already fought you? Oh, okay. Either that or you don't fight me, like, at all, so... Either way works. But yeah, uh, it's in a kind of like a storage room like this. Ooh, nice. We got an escape rope. We got... A max revive. Cool. I like those. We got a full heal. Nice. And that didn't take up any of my friggin', um, you know, item space. That's good. Alright, what do you gotta say? Shh. Can't you see I'm hiding? Uh, no, I can't see you because you're hiding. <laughs> oh, sorry. Anyway. <sighs> so, what are you guys doing? I've actually probably, like, by the time this goes up, I will have probably been playing the Minish Cap a lot more now. So, yeah, there's that for you. I think that's honestly, that's like the only Zelda game I've really been interested in as of late. So, yeah. Anyway, uh, what's this? Just nothing in here but an item. Ooh, a protein! Cool, I like that. I ought to give that to Polyrath. I've already got one, like, where I can use one later. So, here, let's do this. I'm gonna drop this escape rope, because I don't need that. And then I'm gonna use this protein on Polyrath, because he just doesn't have the physical attack of everybody else. So, Rathian. Alright, there we go. Oh, I need to s I need to call them by their, uh, nicknames. I keep forgetting to do that, but oh well. I've been better about that than certain other people. But whatever. Anyway, TM9, what's that? Ah, oh, there's so much stuff in here, it's hard to keep track. Alright, it is... Takedown! Huh. Everybody can learn it. Hmm. Now, I don't really feel like trusting, um, the accuracy of that move. Just because... I mean, it's weird to hear me say that, because I trust the accuracy of, uh, Rock Slide and, um, you know... What was the other? Of Submission and stuff like that, which are arguably just about as inaccurate, but whatever. Uh, I believe this is the floor that I was talking about with the very value... Oh, no, it's not. Okay. Uh, HP up. Not bad. And an X accuracy. Cool. I like it. Uh, this is not the floor I was thinking of. This does not have all the items that I was looking for. Or four. Did I just say looking floor? Uh, <laughs> that's what I get for saying 11 floors so much last time. Um, okay, wait. Was there a door over here? No, there was not. Okay. So, up, up another floor. Oh, okay, here we go. Da -na -na -na. And yeah, I know this is probably really boring, but I know I need to show everything because everyone will want to know where everything is. And TM3, what's that? Is anything useful? Uh, Swords Dance. Hmm. You know? Uh, well, oh, okay, only a freak can learn it. Sure, let's give him that. Alright, um. Yeah, delete. Alright, we're gonna go ahead and get rid of Leer. That'd be useful. And nobody else can learn it, so there's not much point in duplicating it, so I'm not gonna bother with, you know, using the glitch to duplicate it. Alright, uh, let's go ahead and fight you. Because I want to get my Electabuzz up. A child intruder? That must be you! You know, how do people even know I'm a child, really? Because my freaking whip... 
Um, ah, screw you, Sandro. Um, let me back. How do they? Why do they think that I'm a child when my on-screen sprite is the exact same size as they are? I don't really understand that. Have you ever noticed that or really taken that into account? I mean, I am literally the same size as them. <laughs> I mean, ten-year-olds are not usually like five foot four. But okay, whatever. Anyway, <laughs> scratch really, man. You're holding back. You could have hit me with dig or something. I mean, sure, you probably don't have Earthquake on there, but still, come on. You could hit me with Slash. <laughs> anyway, 38, awesome. Fine, I lost. Yeah, you did lose, and it was fine. <laughs> Get it? <sighs> anyway, what's in here? Ooh, is this the, th the room that I'm thinking of? Oh, it's not. It's just a little hostage room. I don't need to save the hosties. Yeah, whatever. Oh, hey, what's that? And people have been keeping a whatever counter. Hey, Gary, how you doing? That's good. Um, people have been keeping a whatever counter on me, and apparently I'm up to, like, 180. That is amazing. That's my catchphrase, even though it's not really my catchphrase. I just... I say that more than people who intentionally say that. I swear. But, oh well. I don't really care. It's just a habit of mine. Alright, what do we got in here? Anything useful, or is it just hostages that don't do anything? Okay, it's just one. I wonder if Sylph is finished. <laughs> okay, so your life is in danger, and that of your co-workers, and then the first thing you think of is if your company is going to be okay. Brilliant. That'd be like if... Like... You know, in Die Hard, that'd be like if Mr. Takagi was more worried about his company going under than, uh, than about, like, the people who work for him. Ugh. Oh, well, whatever. Anyway. And there we go. Another whatever slash anyway moment. Aha, this is the room I was thinking of. Talk to this woman. You look tired. You should take a quick nap. Yes, I should. Don't give up. Yay. And then, after you do that, your Pokemon are fully healed. How nice. Uh, let's see. Who's next? Let's get Rathian out there. Uh, no, not Rathian. Um, let's get Rambi. Actually, yeah, we'll get Rambi. I'm not going to be able to use Rambi at all in the next gym battles, so I might as well get him beefed up while he's in here, and he can still do damage. Oh, my Pokemon seem to adore me. Yes, they do. I'm a good trainer. <laughs> the only Pokemon that doesn't adore me is Zapdos, and that's because he's dead, because he was a dick to me. Or... He was a zap douche. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. Alright, so rock slide or dig? Let's go with dig, just to for accuracy. Oh wow, I'm faster oh well drowsy isn't that fast, but you know. <laughs> I was kinda surprised that I was faster than him, even though whatever. I kinda just said that. I'm just putting it into different words. <sighs> anyway. Ugh. I'm not going to say anything for the rest of this battle. Okay, and we're back. Alright, whatever. Anyway. Oh, there I go again. Wait, where is that going to take me? Let's take it. Oh, wait, haven't I already... I've already been here, haven't I? Yeah, I have been. Okay, well, whatever. And there's another one for the counter. <laughs> um, I don't think I've ever seen that teleporter before, so I kind of wanted to take it. Call me crazy, I actually wanted to take a teleporter, even though I kept telling people you shouldn't take them if you're trying to do this a specific way, which I am. And of course, this isn't, I'm not trying to be like a perfectionist here. I just know that there's actually a lot of good items and tons and tons of experience here. So it actually really is worth your while to come here and get everything. Now, this is the floor that I was talking about with the good items. This is floor number 10, just so you know. Um, it, or if it's not 10, it's very near the top. We found Carbos. And down here, I believe it's down here. 
Okay, we got a rare candy. That's also good, but that's not what I'm looking for. There is TM26. Throughout the entire duration of the series, even until today, TM26 has retained its attack of being Earthquake. The most powerful ground-type move. Um, actually, I think it's just the most powerful ground-type move. I don't think there's anything stronger, as far as I know. But then again, I could be wrong. Who knows? Okay, so, now that we've cleaned this area out in here, let's see. Um, yep, that was floor 10. This is the 11th floor, the very top. So, now that... Jeez, that took 15 minutes! Good lord! Oh, Alright, we're gonna go to f the third floor. We gotta get some kind of progress in here. Oh. Alright, so, you wanna come to the third floor, and you want to take... I believe it's this one, right here. Yep, right here. Just take that one, and you are immediately teleported right where you need to go. So, come to the third floor, take that one, and... What gives you, Daniel? Uh, I was cleaning out the building. <laughs> I thought you'd turn up if I waited here. I guess Team Rocket slowed you down. Not that I care. I saw you in Saffron, so I decided to see if you got better. <laughs> Hell yeah, I got better. You're freaking dead, man. Ugh, you're so dead. And you know, you c I'm not even gonna bring up the fact that he could- Jeez, that looks freaking weird. <laughs> Look at Pidgeot. Oh, it looks- You know what that looks like, honestly? It looks kind of like one of those birds that you see- Um... It's like those water birds that have, like, water in the back and they- They rotate back and forth and they flip back and forth and stuff with, like, kind of like a metronome. That's what it reminds me of. But anyway, this is Pidgeot. It's the final form of Pidgey slash Pidgeotto. So, yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, Gary's kind of screwed, because he his team is no match for mine. I kind of... Well, I didn't really build my team to kill his, but, you know. My team, I can counter his nearly perfectly. So, yeah. If not by typing, then at least by movesets. He's totally dead. All right, Growlithe. Why would you send out Growlithe against a rock, a ground type? I'm just gonna keep Ember, really? <laughs> okay. Bet you wish you had Flamethrower. <laughs> oh! <sighs> I knew that was gonna happen. You know what? I don't care. I don't freak care. Watch. Rampy's gonna kill him any. Oh. Okay, fine. He didn't kill him. Oh. <laughs> Freaking. Oh, and now you go for takedown because you're stupid. Oh! Rambi, you're gonna fight through that burn, and thank you. Oh, I was gonna be pissed if that hit me. <laughs> I thought that roar was gonna hit me and knock me off the, uh, you know, the thing. That would have been really aggravating. Okay, so, uh, he's got his execute now, so I'm gonna send out Rathian. <laughs> it feels so weird to say that. Like, Rathian, as in it's something that's on my side. Uh, even though they normally... They would never be on your side in that freaking. Oh! Oh, oh well. Leech Seed isn't too bad. At least he doesn't have Hypnosis on me. Ugh. That's the thing that Executes love to do in Stadium. They love to st uh, Leech Seed and then uh, freaking sleep you to death. So yeah. Uh, he's sending out an Alakazam. We're gonna go to Mr. Norris. Because I can take this thing. Yeah, I'm dead serious. I can take this. Watch this. Karate Chop. And I'm faster, by the way. Oh, okay. Psybeam. Okay, dude, you can take it. You can totally take it. I know he can do it. Watch this. I know it. Yeah! You see? Ha! Bet you thought he was gonna die. Oh, man. That feels good. <laughs> uh, sucker. Alright, Blastoise. See, now this is why I got Electabuzz. On my team, I have nearly nothing to combat him. But, I have Electabuzz. <laughs> uh, dude, you might want to, um, hold back on the McDonald's there. Ugh. As someone who is currently dieting, I can highly recommend one. Uh, whatever. Anyway. Bubble. The starting water type move that Squirtle learns. Bubble. It has 20 base power. 
<laughs> How does Gary end up being the champion? How? 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 <laughs> I don't even begin to understand that. <sighs> oh ho! So you are ready for Boss Rocket. Even though he's not really called Boss Rocket, he's called Giovanni, aka the Cinema Snob. Whatever. And then another one for the counter. Well, Daniel, I'm moving on up and ahead. By checking my Pokedex, I'm starting to see what's strong and how they evolve. I'm going to go to the Pokemon League to boot out the Elite Four. I'll become the world's most powerful trainer. Daniel, well, good luck to you. Don't sweat it. Smell ya. What the frick was up with my dialogue there? Whatever. <laughs> If you talk to that guy, he'll give you a Lapras, but only Lapras up a bet. Only noobs use Lapras on their team. You know who I'm talking about. You know. Okay, so we're on the final floor of the dungeon now. So, next time, we're going to fight Giovanni, and we can finally get out of here. Uh, just so you know, for those of you who actually know about the Cinema Snob, I'm probably not going to give him a Cinema Snob voice, because I just don't think I can. Not one that would actually do justice to it. So, anyway, next time, the Cinema Snob strikes again. <laughs>